ओमेगा विल बी एज अ मेंबर ऑफ ई सेल फाउंडेशन uh we started with steam education and before starting steam let us understand what steam is so let me share my screen first yeah hope my screen is visible to all yes ma'am so uh, as you can see everybody is aware of stem so by adding arts to stem stands for science technology engineering and maths and adding arts to it it makes it steam so basically steam education is an educational model to le of learning using science technology engineering arts and mathematics as its access points to create a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship among the students whether it be college students or school students so we are here under idgt innovation foundation started with steam education sessions with the colleges as well as the school students we focus on steam spreading a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship based on steam education so going to our philosophy our philosophy is based on a mantra called amantram aksharam nasti nasti mulashnosnam ayogya purusho nasti yojakastra durlabha that means there is not a syllabus which cannot be turned into a spell there is not a plant that is not a medicine and there is no person who is useless only a programmer that is a yojak is rare so as you know everything which is on earth is of some use and everything has a potential that has to be identified so based on this sanskrit stroke we want all the young growing minds the young innovators to be programmers and innovators in order to just solve the problems instead of waiting them to get solved by someone else as there we have a great country bharat we do have an history of such programmers and yojak in our history so in education if we identify the potential of each and every student like every student has some potential but by identifying them and using them to solve the problems of the society brings back an a culture of innovation our vision is inspired by bhagavad gita chapter 2 bhakti yoga so when lord krishna when arjuna asked lord krishna that what type of bhakti can attain you so what is it a sakar roop bhakti or a nirakar roop bhakti the sakar roop bhakti is by seeing god in a person like identifying them as a person you are seeing that and nirakar bhakti is dynamic and that is a difficult mark and that is difficult to attain as well and painful as the sakaru bhakti is easy as you can see the thing you can feel the thing and you can attain but both mark are equal so when krishna replied to this question of arjun that what bhakti should all follow so he said all the bhaktis are equal but reaching up to me doing something which uh in any way can say like serve the society can reach me so 
when we apply this answer of Krishna to the traditional method of education, which is Nirakar, the students are giving, giving, having a syllabus of learning. And when they learn, they just learn to score marks, not to get a knowledge. And that is very difficult and laborious and painful. But we, when we switch over to STEAM, STEAM education, which is a modern model, where students have an opportunity, a hands-on experience in real life and applying these latest technologies like robotics, AI, drone technology in order to solve the problems of the society, they land up doing innovation and entrepreneurship. And that is what is called Sakaru Bhakti, which is easy, smart and painless. So whenever we do such apply, thus these type of inspirations in our education model, we come up with a great nation of innovation and entrepreneurship. Our mission is to make a culture of innovation through STEAM education, like taking an inspiration from the missile man, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, who said that only innovation can make a great, the nation great. As learning gives creativity, creativity in turn blossoms thinking, and thinking provides knowledge, and the knowledge results in innovation. And is innovation which makes a nation great. And also, we are also inspired by the youth icon, Vivekanand who said education is the manifestation of perfection already exists in man we have to identify our potential inside so that we can energize it use it to solve the global challenges and in turn make our nation great so our mission is to for the future innovators and entrepreneurs using 21st century skills, like not doing innovations, but focusing on design thinking, critical thinking, service orientation, cognitive flexibility, their creativity and imagination applying to solve the challenges of the society, complex problem solving, and also making judgment and decisions. So overall, a uh, total uh, personality develops while doing hands-on learning. Not only, it is not only robotics or a technology, but it is a complete learning. So during the phase of learning, the parents and the students, as well as the teachers, focus on developing the IQ of the students. But actually, there are four questions in life for the innovation. The first one is spiritual questions. As while students are learning or working on the programs and while doing the games or coding, they gradually know internally the whole system is based on zero and one. That means the whole world actually applies is based on soul and super soul. So when they learn this, they are spiritually connected to each other. And that leads to a love question. Loving each and every one around as they find that they are the children of one God. So they love each other as brothers and sisters. And this love question leads to an emotional question. Whenever you love someone, you un understand what pain and problem each and every person is going through. For example, when our students who are learning, school students as well as our college students, when they go for outreach with us to different places, remote areas and to the underprivileged areas when they find that they can feel the pain and the problems of the society in turn using all these three questions they land up brushing up their intelligent questions that means to solve the problem they work hard they find the different ways to help them and how to solve the problems by doing innovations along involving 
and working in a team with those students. So in STEAM Edu, we focus on spreading the culture of innovation and entrepreneurship using STEAM education through its learning by doing programs on different cutting edge technologies like robotics, app development, IoT, web entrepreneurship, game design, virtual reality. And in turn, these tools, they work projects and they are also prepared for the also participate in national and international competition. In turn, they work in teams, they develop their critical thinking, they develop a confidence to how to present in public by pitching, design thinking, helping each other, collaborating in teams. So it is also a competition like development in them. That means cooperating as well as competing. So we do different programs and workshops on design thinking, research-based learning, learning from their failures while doing different workshops that might be of robotics, app development, internet of things, drones or virtual reality. During these programs, the students find a problem and use these technologies and research about them and they learning from the failures, they land up in different innovations. And while this, there's one thing, they help each other by peer learning and peer mentoring. So they learn to work in teams. So in STEAM Edu, the students from the college, they in turn mentor the students of the school students. And in a team, our students with STEAM Edu go to their outreach projects to the areas where which are very remote to the underserved section of the society and provide this life-changing experience to them working in a team and do a free edu STEAM education sessions so that every child of the society had the access of this modern way of learning in order to innovate. So until now, during our outreaches, we have reached to several areas of India in an offline as well as an online mode to the rural, tribal, and remote areas of landing from Ladakh to Rameshwaram, from the east to Assam to Delhi, UP, and now also in Madhya Pradesh. We also focus on Vasudev Patumbukam. We are also reaching a place in, in Africa where there is a very what do you call underserved area in Cameroon, we do have our mentor because we consider one earth, one family and one future. So most of the uh, students of our team, what our students are, 70% of the students are girls. So in turn, we are filling the gender gap of women in the field of science and technology. And we do have an, a special program run by girls that is genius. Girls empowering new India using STEAM. As we do have, we are associated with Indra Gandhi, Indra Gandhi Delhi Technical University, who is also focusing on bringing girls and tech and filling this gender gap. So Genius is working towards it, promoting women in entrepreneurship as well as girls in tech. And we do have several programs running with them and we are focusing to cover all ingeniouses to reaching to every girl of the society to the end, to the whole India as well as the whole world. We do have connection outside the India also and the people like girls and women are coming up with this. So, STEAM Edu is also covered by different uh, media channels like D and CNN also and they have uh, covered our stories, different success stories of our students as well. So STEAM education, basically a model, a way of learning, way of approach, where the, this technology 
or the learning of tech can be spread in a fun loving way by doing instead of theory we do run practical programs so anybody has question about it is most welcome so we have our office in we associated with anvishan foundation uh can reach out can reach out to our website as well as drop a mail to us and any questions i'm here to answer ma'am how do you incorporate incorporate this uh, art uh, in this uh, stem education basically like uh... see uh, i'll start with myself uh i am a qualified qualified homeopathic physician like a person from medicine but Good. how i landed in technology is an interesting story like during my practice i treat the patient with sweet pills that means the disease is treated in a very way like it should be gentle and it should have a healing so during working for my media channels like facebook i started learning the chatbot and developed my chatbot myself and through learning i developed in the interest in technology as well so by learning by by doing i learned everything so connecting my creativity art that is the part a art doesn't lim limit to a arts it limits to be creativity problem solving so apply technology and science with that that is an integrated approach of learning that is team along with stem so uh, like a lot of institutes are giving this training program mm -hmm. uh, like a uh, think uh, tinker lab is also yeah, yeah, giving yeah, yes yeah. so how do you like differentiate yeah, it yeah yeah so actually they are running training programs are a mentoring program training means one person is speaking and the others is listening the students are listening but it's totally opposite in our association and organization here the there is not a training board but students work in a team and they identify a problem then through research based learning they learn in a team and when they have any difficulty they discuss with them and as mentors we focus that if they face any difficulty we can work out with them but it's not a training so we are working on steam education but in a tinkering way not in a training way it's totally learning by doing can you can you just give me one example like suppose uh, uh, some uh, child like from second class or someone is eighth class so how you uh, like both working in a team uh, how you manage that yeah yeah we do have examples of running the workshop like we do have a, a workshop in iddt as well that was on c c plus applying on the robots so during that workshop the youngest student was in fifth standard and the eldest one was a professor in college okay so they were working in a team we do have such programs and uh, we also have a youngest student at the age of 4 years and the oldest one like we are running a program with teachers that is innovation learning in teaching and we have teachers of above 60 as well <coughs> no i just want to know like uh, how they would be uh, involved in uh, solving the problem like uh, how you <laughs> approach towards the problem uh, yeah. like uh, they are in different age groups and different yes, yes, yes. Uh, like backgrounds okay so you are asking how you should approach or the school should approach no means there is a problem suppose there is a pro problem of pollution uh, like uh, it's a problem yeah. so how uh, like you are mentoring to students like uh, how to approach towards the problem yeah. like to solve first, this problem yeah first of all first of all is identify the problem is the passion of the student not us we are a part of we are actually we just let them identify the pain 
the pain points. The, uh, they do like design thinking sessions and they discuss different problems of the society among these teams and find their passion they have to work on such problems first identification through brainstorming and ideation then they pick up a problem and the person who are interested to solve make a team when they make a team they just figure out what points like how they can work out give a solution best possible solution and what best technology can be applied to it so when they identify that technology or different technologies like uh, combining robotics, IoT or drone, everything, like it can have a single technology or the combination of all. So in order, they have to learn these technologies, like they chose virtual reality, some solution on virtual reality, as well as as well as 3D modeling. So they learn, like a student from even second grade start thinking that he has to learn that. So by approaching simple, like in a team, they discuss the learning as well as each other. Like if one person is working on something, the other person works on something, then they share the learning and they end up making a prototype. And working on that prototype, like they make some innovation or something built, then they program. Like maybe a simple person, like simple uh, student of uh, up to five can make a simple app to solve that problem. So basically, it, it is not the technology they are learning. They are learning an approach to solve the problem. They are problem solvers. So this is what the industry is needing. A nine of a programmer not a coder. I hope I'm clear to you. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Now, uh, this is commendable what you have uh, done, but how many years has it taken for uh, you to reach this level? Uh, will you please repeat your question? I couldn't hear the whole question. No, you have done a commendable job, but how many years it took you? To reach. Years, years. Actually, my journey is a bit longer, but I, uh, we incubated our startup under IGDQ in 2018. So officially, we are a four year, four to five year, four and a half year journey. Oh. But my okay. journey is a bit longer in STEAM education. And I'm applying this whole education like in my uh, medicine. Yeah. Because I build up my own website, myself, my YouTube channel, my Facebook, everything. So if a person with a medicine background or even simple with an arts background, we do have examples and success stories like this. Uh, like students when they are uh, like uh, have a passion of dance, even Steve yeah. applies to dance as well. Different Correct. postures, different things. And they're applying with the uh, like identifying AI, the movements of the body as well as the robots. So everything is combined, not separate. So it is basically picking up their passion and working on it. Okay. So this is involving a lot of originality also. Yes. Uh, bringing yes. about all uh, aspects together and making it. Yes. A whole. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hello, ma'am. Uh, you are a physician, right? In Ayurveda. Yeah, so yeah. could you please share your journey of that aspect, like after 12th, how you got into it from there to hear the journey? Okay. Uh, so uh, basically, what I told is that I had a passion to learn from right from the beginning. And during my childhood, I wanted to become everything, like from even a flying a robot or going to space. And like operating everything, solving everything. So my passion was to find out. Like I was like inquisitive in everything, asking teachers. That is in every student. Actually, basically, I was a very shy girl before. But when I identified that asking questions, even if that question doesn't have an answer, that everybody laughs, no matter. So we teach, like we tell our students not to shy, but to ask any question, no matter others laugh. So learning from failures. So when I got into the college, so uh, the method was just to go and write the examination. 
but I was not interested in that. So I started my clinical practice early in the first year. I started going to the OPDs with doctors. And luckily, I had mentors who allowed me to go with them. So during the course of learning, I was like, we were learning anatomy. And I was actually seeing how anatomy works in identifying and diagnosing a patient. So during that course, and luckily, after 10 years of my practice, I landed key. I have to make a web page or a YouTube channel. I need that. But starting with the Facebook page, I had I started my Facebook page and landed up with many queries, but I couldn't answer that. So I myself thought what to do, how to answer each and every like patient. So I landed up researching. I luckily I found a monk, monk like mentor to in steam vision, whom I was mentoring with them. Uh, to a place, uh, there is a Shalima village where there is a center where students from each like government schools they come to study. We started a center there on based on STEAM education there. So while volunteering, I also learned these technologies. So by the problem solving approach, they they have some very uh, interesting queries that why not, ma'am, this should happen. Why this shouldn't happen? So while these questions the other way around. We landed up researching how things happen and how we should give a solution. So by learning each and every technology, even in medicine also, like one of my students who had a chapter uh, in uh, nutrition, like anemia, vitamins. So it was very difficult for her. She came to me, you are a doctor. Ma'am, can you uh, teach me this? So instead of teaching her, I told her, why not you make an app out of it? So she learned the app development and landed up in a, a app, beautiful app, which is uh, eat what you need. In that, she had to study that technology as well as that chapter, that what uh, vitamin deficiency causes such diseases. And with the app so, uh, giving solution and using all BI, BMI also. So she learned technology as well as the chapter. So there was no need to look at the books and find out what nutrition chapter belongs. So she scored much in that. So she was in seventh grade. Now she is an, uh, like in the second year of engineering college. So she had a medicine background also, and she's learning, uh, applying biotechnologies also. So we do have such chapters with us. All right. Uh, so, ma'am, when you graduated and when you founded STEAM Education? Yeah. Actually, uh, my graduation year is in 2000. And I landed in oh, wow. STEAM Education is uh, seven years back, seven, eight years so, back. So, uh, ma'am, I'm a dental surgeon and I graduated in February 2018. So, it's five years. And if you say, because we start doing patients from the third year itself. Mm -hmm. So, um. Yeah, yeah, so third year itself, so you can say like it's been 10 years into dentistry, um, but I can, if you graduate in like 2000, you are super senior and I can really imagine how much experience you will be having. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So Dr. Jasmine, uh, you can use these technologies as you are into it, you have an interest and you can apply, like actually the thing is, we, we learn what has been already done in the school. But it's not, it's very much like we have exactly. to have a learning approach to see what is happening and create our own. Right. So that I'm quite sure yeah. that you would never have taught the basics of business or how to open a business in our medical or dental college. Mm -hmm. That is why I was here to get the network and to understand the basics because we never taught even how to open a dental clinic, it's not even discussed in our five year or five yeah. and a half year. Yeah, that's true. So, the other thing is that, yeah, you are said something uh, interesting. Let me, when I landed up making a startup, so by doing that, during that journey, I also learned how to register, how to make accounts, balance sheet, how to pitch, how to like manage a finance, everything. So if any, any learning, a small learning gives you like certain failures, give you a lifelong learning as well. So we also have like during our counseling sessions, we do that failures, not to fear. Failures have to come. They have to. Otherwise, there's no success. Any other question?
many people. How much does this program cost? Uh, actually, as uh, Rauji, uh, we have two chapters. Like we have a socio-economic company. Like during the workshops, we run our social chapters along with that. So uh, being a part of incubation, the programs which are run under uh, with IGDTQ, they have very, what do you call, minimized. What would be? But, yeah. It varies from, uh, like, if you are using a very expensive hardware, that may, might cost much. So that varies from case. Yeah. We are working with schools as well. We are running programs with the schools. As I told, we are now running a program of uh, innovation in teaching with schools also this year. We are working with teachers as well. This is some new concept because most schools don't do all this. So they are also doing as a pilot. Actually, they were uh, like, we used to do workshops there. And they were amazed that how students are developing interest. So other way around, why not teachers have such a creative approach? So they told us to run a program for that also. Okay. Ma'am, which year you founded STEAM Education? Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you please repeat the question? Ma'am, which year you founded uh, STEAM Education? Yeah, we founded STEAM Edu Learning in 2018. Any more questions? Anything about STEAM Education, STEAM Edu, or even you can go to our web page and to the YouTube channel as well. And any more questions, you can directly reach out to me, dropping a mail or I. The number is already visible on the screen. So may I know all about you, like uh, Dr. Jasmine is a dental surgeon, I think, and uh, Komala ji? I, I am a retired teacher now. Oh, and that... I'm running a um, learning center oh. where I'm teaching maths to students. Yeah. Now, this is a very interesting concept. Oh, that's no, I will get in touch with you. You know, ma'am, math and... actually applies to everything, even medicine, yeah. also measurement, like we do surgery in Dr. Jasmine. Math matters much. Yeah. Do you agree, Jasmine? So, everything, like no subject is a wide apart. We can say you're not learning, but learning math, the formulas, the other way around. Like one huh. example I can give you, like my students of second grade was trying to learn tables. Uh -huh. But I, but like we did a, something like one of our mentors did totally opposite. She brought apples and just distributed that if I give you, I have to give two to this, two to this, two to this, how many apples I will have. Uh -huh. So that is the other way around. So innovative ways are there to do things. Correct. Yeah. No, it just struck me that like yours, I can, you know, bring in technology more. Rather than just teaching uh, yeah, maths not, like this. Uh, uh, just to correct you, it is team education, not technology. Technology is a part. No, no, use of technology. Yes, use of technology. Yes, 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 of course. Yeah. So do you have some uh, syllabus or something? Or like follow some syllabus or you... It's like problem solving. See, yeah. when, when we are talking of syllabus, we are yes. fixing the ideas. It's okay. out yeah. of syllabus, out mm. of the box learning. So we mm -hmm. don't follow any curriculum and we just work what students bring to us. Okay. So the programs are pre-decided, but the approach, the learning is out of the box. Okay. Yes, problems are pre like, uh, I, uh, can you repeat this, ma'am? Uh, Actually, we don't this, yeah. yeah. If, if syllabus bounds the innovation mind of a student, of a yes. learner, because if you are making a curriculum, you are binding those, those thoughts. But if you are letting it open through design thinking sessions, through brainstorming, through ideation, a lot of things come. 
then in team like the mentor doesn't know what student will ask today or what he'll be landing what answers it's a teamwork they research together so it's okay. out of the box with no fixed curriculum yes we do work on team education so with this chat gpt now yeah then students may not need us <laughs> actually ma'am the transformation transformation is happening every day yeah so we don't need people who loathe the technology but who can build the technology yes so that is a programmer's mind correct that. and the answer lies in steam education <laughs> Yeah. So I hope I'm. Am I clear to all? Any more yes. questions? Any more questions? So, uh, how do you convince the parents? Like they ah, are sending their. That that, 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 is, a, that <laughs> yeah. is also that is also our innovation. Every day we innovate. Counseling the parents, like different approaches are there. But when students, like students and parents, come to a workshop, like students are there, when they see the transformation, like we do run a demo classes with them also. So in one or two sessions, when they see the transformation in their children, they then they come and discuss with us. And when they feel, actually not see, they feel the STEAM education, they are convinced. Okay. So initially, the parents also come with the student for the demo class. No, no, the parents don't come. They see the transformation in the students, and okay. they will come to our office. We do present them uh, whatever stories we have or whatever chapters we are running. They see that, and they allow their child to dive into it. Like they have to give consent, mm -hmm. and during this course. They see changes and transformation in the schools, and they when they their child is progressing, other parents are also like see what a difference they are making, and yeah. then they bring them. Correct. So it's some gradual. specialized, yeah. yeah, some specialized training for the trainers is given, or the as, as, as I told, that is not at all training. It's mentoring. Okay. So we have to remove this training word. And as I told that we are also learning, uh, like uh, running programs for teachers as well, for the mentorship program, we have STEAM educator program, we have innovation in teaching programs, we are running that. Are there any videos of the workshop on YouTube so that we can have, we can... Teach? Yeah, you can just log into our website and our YouTube channel. Okay. I hope uh, the screen is visible to all. Yeah, it's the thank you slide. Yeah. Yes, yes. So our Facebook page are on the uh, Team Edu uh, website. You can just log into it and watch the videos as well. So much, if any queries, you can reach out to me directly. Sure. Sure. Any more questions? So as you can see the noise behind me because I am right now sitting in my office and the students are just learning over technologies. Hope I could show uh, some of us. Uh, here in the office, they are uh, preparing for a competition. They are working on robotics, international robotics championship. They are working for that in a team. Zurwin is there? Zurwin is there? Zurwin, come here. Zurwin. I I love that. Zurwin, are you there? Okay. What is the age group of the yeah. people? Come here, come here, come here. This is a young uh, programmer. Say hello. Hello. Hi, Durvid. Yeah, some. 
people to meet you. You can tell about your journey. Can you? Who is this? Yeah, Hi. Tell about yourself. Hello. In which class standard you were and how you started learning team education? So, what you are learning? What you are doing today? Yeah. I just started with code.org and I did a little of Roblox. And now I'm watching the FTC Power Play tournament. So he has developed a lot of apps. He's working on robotics. He has learned AI. Like he's applying AI on robotics and he is, uh, he was in second standard, but his father, parents opted for homeschooling because his questions were much that were not answered in the school. So he started team education here and he's a part of an error team, which, go, which is above seven, but he's volunteering them in robotics. <laughs> So such type of students, actually talent lies in students, but we are not able to undefine. So we do have such students as well. Congratulations and best of luck, dear. Thank you. So any more questions from and do you feel like our uh, school education system should be changed? Yes, I told you we are not changing. Actually, uh, we are at, initially when there were gurukuls, was there such education? No. So we are going back to our history, not creating a new one. It's our in our roots. So we are going back to nature. We are just reviving them. Yeah, we are reviving. So we are hoping that every like every school or everything there shouldn't be a pressure pressure to only score marks but to learn and apply that knowledge in problem solving. When that mindset comes in each and every student, nobody will need job. We are on a mission to create job creators, not job seekers. A more right. because nation needs more entrepreneurs, more programmers, more innovators. Right. So any more questions? Anything to discuss? You can just subscribe our YouTube channel and uh, have stories. Like we do have uh, short videos on our workshops we have run till now. Sure. And we do have social chapters as well. Like recently we started a STEAM education online class in Mandapam. There is a school in uh, Rameshwaram, Mandapam. That is the school of... Uh, Great missile man APJ Abdul Kalam had school education. That is a mandapam. Yeah. So when a mentor from US landed up there, just he went, he landed up seeing that school. That school is literally like they are running the education, like uh, there are no classrooms, no tables. There are only daris. And the thing is that when we approach them, they only speak in Tamil and no English in between. So when we started the first class online, that was like, how could we teach them? Like, how could we like talk to them? But luckily, they understood something and online, and now they are working on short short apps online in Mandapur. So we do have a chapter in, uh, like in North is Ladakh, where the temperature almost goes south to minus 40. So we are running a program with them also. And luckily, three girls from the, like, by the, uh, under the Honorable uh, Vice Chancellor Amita Mab, three girls from IGDT also had uh, opportunity to go there with us and uh, ran a program five day, like, team education camp there with the students in Ladakh. And we do have a chapter in Assam also, where uh, like it's a community, Sadani, a, a group of slaves of uh, tea gardeners. So we do a chapter that they haven't even know what laptop is. 
now they are programming and they have been with us to pune as well and they uh, were uh, earn an award also then like now they are programming they are thinking of like they are opting for education more even uh, learning a basic education was a, a very great challenge there so uh, the other part is that that we our students from uh, like uh, our team edu they have an opportunity to go with us you, uh, during the outreaches to such places because the problem problems are not here the problems are there so the problem uh, solving approach comes automatically when do we feel the pain of these uh, areas also so that is the thing every student have should have such mindset and uh, who all can uh, can associate with you as a mentor if anybody interested uh, sure 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 ma'am sure you okay. can so, just uh, uh, connect with me on my whatsapp number this is my whatsapp number i'll share the screen again just sure yeah you can connect on this number and just drop me a message and we connect back to you ma'am sure thank you I hope you got my number. Yes, we have not. Because we are associated with an organizer also. We are like, we were mentored by Steam Vision. So we have a Steam Vision Foundation, which is running all the social chapters. So uh, I'll just connect you with them. And can I have uh, like drop me a hi or something with your name on my WhatsApp number? I'll get back to you. We'll get back. To any more queries? Any, any, anything? And in fact, we we are connecting with most of the GDS members as well. Like we have mentors, uh, like uh, from all over India, all over the world, and they are uh, like from every field, from scientists to doctors, to technology, to art teachers, to dance teachers as well. So there's a very large group. Uh, we are running under GDS. So anybody who's interested, just give me a call or a message on the WhatsApp. We'll get back to you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, one you more thing much. is, one yes. more thing I want to ask you, ma'am. So yeah. how you uh, identify a uh, child's interest? Suppose a child comes to your center. Okay, mm -hmm. now you are counseling the child that, uh, okay, you should go for this stream education mm -hmm. and uh, uh, like uh, all the programs you're having. So mm -hmm. like uh, um, in the counseling, how you identify the uh, child's uh, interest? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, the uh, student, uh, what do you call, is exposed to each and everything what we have. Yes. And with his interest, he chooses a domain, but he has the learning of all, like working with all with the team. But he takes the lead of one thing, whatever passion he has, whatever approach his problem like needs, the best solution is. So he works out in team and landed up like in anything. Uh, suppose a fifth, fifth, fifth standard uh, student comes to your uh, center. So mm -hmm. your counseling. So, uh, like uh, in the first uh, counseling, how you decide that? Okay, this uh, we the, don't decide. The students. Okay. Okay. The team decide. We do. We like decision is a means a, the mentor will uh, yeah. identify. The mentor will identify uh, yes, his interest. The, the skills, the interest as well. Yes, and yes. even the student will also uh, identify his skills as well during the work day. that that's what i want to know how yeah. how that process is basically so for that you have to come our, to our office we'll sit in a team and explain you uh, like we'll discuss okay okay man. sure I'll... okay thank you man thank you so much thank you rauji
for bringing me here. And I do hope. Uh, thank you, ma'am, for coming. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, participants, please stay connected here. We will start next session in at 5 p.m. in next 10 minutes. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, thank you madam. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.
हेलो राहुल जी कैसे हैं हेलो सर एकदम ठीक शैल बी स्टार्ट हाँ जी सर बस एक मिनट दीजिए मैंने ग्रुप में मैसेज तो डाल दिया था ठीक ठीक एक दो मिनट में स्टार्ट करते हैं सर बस ठीक ठीक हाँ जी गुड इवनिंग टू द पार्टिसिपेंट्स अगेन नाउ योर सेशन विल बी टेकन बाय क्षितिज सिन्हा जी सर इज इनक्यूबेटिव विद दस एज वेल एज इन आर यूनिवर्सिटी स्पोर्टिंग इन मैनी अदर थिंग्स सर इज रनिंग अ वेरी सक्सेसफुल कंपनी एंड यू नो विल बी एबल टू गाइड यू इन मोर मच बेटर मैनर नाउ सर दिस सेशन एक्चुअली आज हमारे पूरा दिन सेशन हमारे इनक्यूबेटिव के साथ ही थे इनक्यूबेटिव आई विल नॉट से सीनियर मेंबर सीनियर इनक्यूबेटी जो हमेशा हमारे साथ हैं तो दे आर गाइडिंग दैम ऑन वेरियस थिंग्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस सो दियर क्वेश्चन कैन बी मोर ऑन अदर थिंग्स ऑल्सो तो Sir, I hand over this to you. You know about the program we are running. This is uh, this session is part of the same program, Women Exploration Entrepreneurship Program, which we yeah. are running, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Rahul ji. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you it is indeed a great opportunity that you people have extended. So I uh, extend my deepest congratulation to Innovation Foundation, to Aurora sir, to you, and to everyone involved. and also thank you for giving us the opportunity and thank you yeah so i'll just share my screen i hope the screen is visible yes sir okay so uh i would be mainly speaking about uh, why should startups invest in design uh, design is actually very critical for any innovation and through uh, this presentation we would be showing you across that how design could play a very critical role uh, when we talk about innovation or when we talk about coming out with some revolutionary products uh, design in itself is a very long process uh, it comes and it involves many iterations also so it is very important to keep invested into the uh, design uh, process so that the real output what we have envisioned in the initial stages come out uh, exactly the manner in which we wanted so through different example we have picked up a case study of uh, apple iphone uh, we would be talking about that uh, to show why it was important and how come iphone actually replaced the entire uh, iphone proved to be a game changer when it came down to the smartphones and were the initiators and why steve jobs was very much respected in uh, this so yeah so for design and innovation these things are very critical uh, both in the importance of being invested into the design comes out with the idea of uh, since startups you know in the initial stages are their prime motto is to uh, bring out the revenues but apart from the revenues one angle which is often missed is creating a niche kind of an area for your own product uh, which definitely comes out from deep research and the design investments that we make in the initial stages and it it involves uh, key components like desirability feasibility and viability uh, the innovation actually is the intersection 
which comes out from these three circles. Desirability mainly talks about what makes sense to people and for people. Uh, viability is about what is likely to become part of the sustainable business model. Feasibility is about what is functionally possible within the foreseeable future. So whenever these three circles meet or intersect, the innovations actually are derived from that component. It involves a lot of research, brainstorming, prototyping. So nowhere there is a set pattern that if we try for once, then only the prototype is set and we have to follow that prototype. Uh, the point is we should in design, the process is such that uh, it helps you, uh, you know, uh, create new, new avenues with each attempt that you make with the prototype, with each attempt that you make with the research, with each attempt that you make with the brainstorm, it helps you refine your prototype. It helps you refine your products. And that's how you actually reach up to the stage of uh, uh, a master product, which, is, uh, which can be uh, proved to be a game changer. Uh, design thinking is definitely the most critical component. Uh, design thinking is a way forward. Design tools and processes can generate innovative ideas, improve business performances and help growth. Good design differentiate a product from the competition. So all of you must have uh, been, you know, uh, exposed to the terms like blue ocean marketing strategy and red ocean marketing strategy. The red ocean mainly talks about, uh, you know, products like the FMCG products, wherein many competitors are there and you are putting in your products and then you're competing. So uh, that market mainly involves uh, you with a similar kind of a product, but again, you have to pitch it differently. Just like what Patanjali did actually at one time, um, selling everything through that particular marketing pitch um, as compared to the other FMCG available uh, goods at that time. Whereas the blue marketing, uh, Blue market ocean, uh, blue ocean strategy talks about creating your own niche. So if a market is not there, but you have to create a market. So it involves sensitizing users, sensitizing your potential customers about all the things which are associated with your products and why should they actually go in for and invest in your products in the future. So it is about creating your own space and then pitching in your product there. So design thinking usually takes care of having that space, visualizing that space, and then putting up product accordingly into that space. So good design differentiate a product from the competition. It contributes to a better user experience, higher customer satisfaction, and an enhanced brand image. Design is starting to be considered as a way of thinking, which can not only drive business success, but also be used to solve complex human issues. Just in the previous slide, we have talked about desirability, feasibility, and viability. So this is that component wherein we are talking about business uh, success uh, because it has the potential to solve complex human issues. And through the example which we have quoted, uh, we would be highlighting that too. Uh, apart from that, we would also be discussing about our own uh, business idea, what we are doing and how we are actually tackling uh, various issues related to complex human uh, problems. Businesses have slowly come around to recognize that design can be used as a differentiator to respond to changing trends and consumer behaviors. So if we have to, uh, it is, for startups, it is not only about getting the initial funding. It is also about uh, having that vision of sailing through and uh, making a long-term kind of a strategy works best for any organization as such. Fortune 500 names such as Apple, Microsoft, Disney, and IBM have demonstrated the intrinsic value of design thinking as a competitive advantage that impacts the bottom line and drives business growth. So design thinking not only gives an 
edge over other existing products. It also provides a competitive advantage, uh, which definitely drives the business growth. Great designers are storytellers. It is very important that we should also learn the art of storytelling. Uh, they are good communicators who know how to share their ideas effectively and make them real. And to be a good communicator, communicator, to share our ideas effectively and to be a good storyteller, we need certain practices to be made into our day-to-day -day life. So just like uh, how various other skills are enhanced, design also requires certain inputs which needs to be worked upon on a day-to-day -day basis so that that skills is actually harnessed to the um, potential, real potential that uh, exists with the products also. They find solutions. Uh, they listen, observe, understand context and how design will be integrated into the world. They have empathy, are meticulous, perceptive and open to change. So these are very important components, important words which are there in existence and we should always be mindful of that. So I was talking about that it requires certain kind of practice, certain kind of skill sets which needs to be honed and which are not directly as such, you know, uh, told to us, but we can actually learn it through our day-to-day -day life. So things like empathy, things like uh, having a perspective, perceptive and uh, the... Uh, observation skills, the understanding of the context, everything. All these things needs to be curated and learned. Smart companies knows, known that investing in their business doesn't cost, rather it pays. So why is this slide really important? This is mainly because uh, in the pressure of uh, coming out with the dif different uh, targets that every company has to meet, uh, we often lose our focus from the real issues. So if we remain invested in design, if we remain invested in our idea, then it is very important not to compromise onto certain aspects. And at the same time, it is important to know that uh, the businesses, uh, it, is, it may not give you the return as such in the early stages, but it will pay. And if we can have that patience, if we can develop that uh, maturity, that yes, in future it is going to pay. If we have that trust on our ideas, then it will definitely turn the wheel. What does design do? Design thinking doesn't guarantee better products or solution. It drives experimentations. Now, this is the critical part, which we all need to uh, know that you know other than uh, guaranteeing the product which is uh, a lot of us focus on the end product that end product should be really very nice and it should uh, look a class apart and all those components but the real component which needs a greater kind of focus is the process that the end before reaching onto the end product, what is the process which we have followed? So that process, the design process, definitely involves lots of experimentations. It involves lot many data gathering uh, analysis part also. It also empowers designers to view their daily challenges in new ways. So moving from the standard model to one following user-centered design process is a smart way to invigorate any organization to be faster, more organized and more creative, all of which in turn drives a greater return on investment. So if we do not have a component of research and development, if we do not have a component of experimentation, if we do not have component of data gathering and analysis into our process of uh, preparing different pitches or moving from one stage to the other stage of a startup, then uh, the uh, uniqueness of a product which is expected out of the startup may lag onto certain uh, significant uh, levels. So that is something which we all have to concentrate on. What do the leading companies have in common? So there were countless smartphones before Apple iPhones. You all must have heard about them. 
most uh, commonly used was the BlackBerry office phone, which was making rounds uh, at that time, just before Apple's iPhone was launched. Uh, they were uh, taxis before Uber also, social networks before Facebook. There were plenty of vacuum cleaners before Dyson and electric cars before Tesla. All of these companies share one thing. It is their relentless focus on the customer and delivering the best user experience possible, which is deeply rooted in their design thinking methodology. So none, if you take up the example of iPhone or Uber, or for that matter, Facebook, Dyson, or Tesla, none actually compromised with the design thinking methodology. So these were the integral part of the, um, I mean, the offering which these companies actually brought out. And they proved to be revolutionary in all sense. So it is very important to invest in the research and development. It is very important to send your product through that entire process. And this is where the role of incubation centers comes to be very handy. And Anvation Foundation has been one such um, incubator across Delhi, I would say across India, who, which actually provides this opportunity of experimentation. It provides you opportunity of taking out time, you know, uh, before the product is actually launched out or scaled up further. So the, we must capitalize onto the opportunity extended to us in all possible manner and should make it a very, uh, you know, uh, capitalize by capitalizing onto it, we should actually have a very strategic uh, approach uh, when we talk about what we intend to do in um, say suppose six months or one year or so and a large part definitely goes into thinking uh, or design thinking or experimentation so if we do not have it in that timeline as of now it is very important to integrate one design thinking is a human-centered approach to innovation that draws from the designer's toolkit to integrate the needs of people, the possibilities of technology, and the requirement for business success. Uh, why is Apple considered to be a revolution? It has various components like, you know, uh, 1958, you must have seen some of the transistors. 2001 came out the iPod. Apple, the iPhone, which actually replaced the BlackBerry market to a if you must have seen the BlackBerry phones, I am not sure how many of you have personally used it, but you must have been aware of it. It was all, uh, you know, physical keypad, uh, which was existing earlier, which the iPhone completely changed altogether when they came out with the iPhone, um, I mean, with their first offering. So uh, the main concept or the things which they concentrated upon was coming out with the product. Uh, which can be felt by the users. So that is what Steve Jobs in his pitch also mentioned, that it is the power of touch that he wanted to offer. So many people say that it was a great marketing pitch, which he actually made and rehearsed for it uh, to a great extent. But few of us actually know that there is a lot many years of labor which actually went before uh, coming out with such kind of a product. Everything was thought through. Uh, even the icons which are there onto the iPhone, uh, what would be the size of it, how the screen would be divided, uh, what would the keyboard look like? I mean, the physical touches. Uh, the main area, the, the keyboard would look like means it is just a replication of the typewriter keyboard, which we had earlier. So they continued doing it. There was a debate whether to go in for simple ABCD or uh, QRTC, uh, the, uh, uh, I mean, the typewriter kind of a keyboard. So they went ahead because people were of the habit of, you know, using the typewriters and then onto the computers and then again onto the phone. So th they carried on the decision to carry out with the same kind of a keyboard uh, was very critical at that time. So, but a lot of, uh, before taking that decision, a lot of brainstorming happened, a lot of research happened, and a lot of prototypes were developed, which were debated upon, which were tabled, 
and many after many pros and cons the decisions was taken decision was taken also about what we today known as the user interface dialogues and everything that what would the would be the size of the screen or the phone or what would be the size of the icons what will happen if we touch the icon what will happen if we touch the keyboard keyboard is very slight you know uh, and what will happen if we touch it so a letter would pop up this was a unique feature which was added so that you are aware of what is being typed and you do not make mistakes so all these small small detailing uh, this was very critical so it was not a product like a phone bana diya and usme hi humne sare uh, we integrated all the components of icon and touch it was beyond the touches it was beyond the experience that it was able to give to the users which was very critical at that time so these things were not possible without proper research without proper design thinking and there was a dedicated team which was actually working for more than 3 4 years before they actually came out with such revolutionary product uh apple devices are so intuitive and easy to use throughout their lifespan they have been able to set themselves apart due to their ability and willingness to make decision on behalf of their user so what exactly does the user think or would like to use or would like to consider or would be accepting more than willing to accept this is a pulse which uh, somehow where Uh, was known to them and they actually completely invested into it uh, so they were able to pull out and they were able to generate beautiful products out of it most people make the mistake of thinking design is what it looks like people think it's this veneer that the designers are handed with box and told make it look good that's not what we think design is it's not just what it looks like it feels like design is how it works steve jobs these were the exact statements of the steve jobs so he was very much invested he was very much particular about how design make a product work so at the core of any offering it could be any service it could be any product at the core of it it has to work the design needs to resolve how the product works so that was the main idea uh this is primarily the reason why a cnn story had the world's best designer picking the 12 best designs in the last century and two of them were by apple the mp3 player has already existed when apple created the ipod it just came up with a better version of a mp3 player tablets have already been in existence when apple came out with its own version the ipad similarly the smartphone is not an apple creation it's just the apple successfully revolutionized the concept of a smartphone when it launched its iphone the first was the apple mac in 1984 which seemingly seamlessly combined outstanding software and hardware into the experience the second was the first ever ipod which redefined the revolutionized what the world knew of an mp3 player so this is the timeline of apple releases which you can actually see but the time at which the first iphone was launched it was pitched in such a manner that it is a combination of different devices like combination of the ipod combination of the navigation device and combination of a simple phone so it was a combination and that's how it was sold and along with that many customized many personalized uh, components also uh, gathered around in that particular pitch of steve jobs if you are able to go through it so in this timeline it is very interesting to see that you know apple was actually uh, the ipo was launched in somewhere around december 1980 and uh, somewhere around 2007 is when the first iphone was launched you can see that the graph in itself it takes a different you know uh, trajectory altogether once the iphone was launched and before that there were many products which apple actually came out so after the iphone it has been majorly restricted to the iphone ipads and uh, macbook and all with uh, the app store through which different uh, applications have been provided but before that they tried uh, many products and they 
failed at some time they successed at some time and it was a very uh, long journey if you see in terms of timeline like from uh, 1980s to 2007 almost 27 years uh, were invested into simplifying the design and what you see as a end product of the output of a iphone is a labor of all that 27 years which was involved and the learnings which came out from the various failures of the products offered by the apple the possibilities for innovations are not by any means exhaustive technological development is always offering new opportunities for innovative design but innovative design should always be in tandem with innovative technology and can never be an end in itself a good design should be innovative a good design makes a product useful a good design is good is substantially on a higher side uh, on an aesthetic scale a good design makes a product understandable a good design is obtrusive a good design is honest a good design is long lasting a good design is thorough down the last detail good design is environmentally friendly good design is as little design as possible so simplicity we say simplicity we have to simplify things a good design really has to be very simple a uh, good design should be understandable by uh, many people so a good a good design has many components which needs to be ticked and if we tick on to all the check boxes against these uh, very features or uh, very parameters of a good design then uh, we are in fact covering all the greater details of making a product a world class product and uh, a global kind of a product so that's uh, that was a brief about what we can expect or should accept uh, about the design thinking uh, now i'll just take you quickly through the family script the offering of the prarabdha info solutions private limited this we have created under the incubation center igdtuw anvesh foundation at family script and this is a you know offering wherein we are actually scripting the stories of the family so what do we understand by scripting stories of a family so most of the talks you must have had in your own homes in your own with your own family members um, whenever we sit down together to have a cup of tea whenever we go out for recreation or on a trip we often tend to share many nostalgic moments of our childhood many uh, past days memories of how our parents uh, used to be with us or how uh, we as a sibling used to have fun so all those things are passed from generation to generation and with each generation there are many inputs which is actually available and which are invested in a a family so a family growth or for that matter a person who is able to achieve so much uh, derives their inspiration desire, derives their source of recognition from the efforts which has gone into the family structure through various generations so it is we thought that it was very much essential to document these components the intangible uh, things uh, the nostalgic memories all these things have are documented and presented to the user at the most testing times of their life then it might prove to be a very important source of inspiration during the testing times so that is where the person actually derives their strength from so we uh, are very particular about that this uh, power house the inspiration power house that we are talking about is how can we create a product out of this inspirational power house that was the main component which we actually wanted to experiment which we wanted to uh, you know crack so that's how we we tried many prototypes i mean you may name n number of merchandising products which we thought of and uh, after going through many many rounds of iterations and many many successful trials or unsuccessful trials or many prototypes we somehow formulated uh, uh, bringing out a very innovative kind of a product which is a family book 
and which comprises of family stories. And it is, uh, again, the intangible components of the stories, uh, the memories, which uh, often would have gone um, lost, uh, are preserved and are, uh, you know, given a shape of beautiful scripts, beautiful stories. And uh, we create a complete transformatory uh, kind of a family book and offer it to the client so that they could actually refer it a number of times during their uh, lifetime and can you know cherish it forever the uh, memories which has actually made all of us so that's where the uh, tagline also of the family script came up which was create cherish and celebrate so it is about creating your family stories and uh, uh, cherishing them and celebrating in the same manner so uh, often it is said that uh, if, if you see a family, you would get a story in every family. So each story has a scale of, you know, to be converted into a successful Bollywood movie. So it has everything. Uh, it, it has, uh, you know, all the components of uh, a good Bollywood masala movie. So why not document it and see how things goes? So that was the idea. So the core offering was uh, revolving around the creation, creating the family connection, celebrating the strengths, identity, motivates, which actually motivates individual and cherishing through an online repository of family stories. So this was the core offering. And these are some of our products, like the one which you see here is uh, one of a uh, family book which we had actually onto the left hand side was an anniversary book which we presented to a couple who were who are actually in UK and they wanted to celebrate a five year anniversary so they made their book uh, from us and we were able to convert their story into a, a beautiful uh, collection you know of how they met how the initial five years went into what they actually celebrated together. All those components are there in that book. On to the right hand side, some of the glimpses are from one another book, which talks about the different recipes that are very much uh, pre pre prevalent in one of the family. So the ingredients and the uh, how they are actually made, uh, everything is uh, captured there. Uh, one such book, or one such project, project which came to us was a book uh, dedicated by a sister to their elder brother. Uh, this book was made at the time of uh, retirement of a brother. So this brother has actually taken care of the entire family, all the sisters and everything, and the elder brother was retiring. So the uh, sister who got this book made uh, wanted to relive the moments, the contribution, and wanted to, you know, acknowledge the contribution of the elder brother into the family so they uh, got this book made from us and it captures all the interesting stories from uh, their childhood of living together in a small permanent apartment in akedvai nagar up to the uh, stage uh, they have reached till now where they are retiring and all uh, this was again onto the left hand side, you can see one of the product which talks about the uh, relationship of a father and a child. The, so this book is very close to the offering which we wanted to achieve and actually this project was very uh, demanding in terms of the father was often confused of, was not sure of whether the reasons that uh, he is actually given to his child. Uh, the child may uh, used to ask many questions like, why are we doing this? Why are we not doing that? So the father had uh, all the answers ready, but those answers had an influence from his own childhood. So there are two components which was going all together throughout the book. One was the modern day uh, uh, structure, modern day uh, questions which the child uh, used to uh, ask. And the other one was the old age, the uh, influencer kind of a component which the parent had in mind from the uh, from his own childhood. So we somehow mixed both 
and carried it through the entire book so that this book once it was ready it was ready for the son to understand why they actually did what they uh, were doing uh, another uh, book on the right hand side topmost corner was our first book in the hindi script and it had uh, you know beautiful chapterizations like of uh, good uh, movies uh, of the past so we made illustrations all around that just a second na huh? yeah so on to the right hand side topmost corner you can see the uh, i mean our first attempt with the hindi kind of a book this book was uh, the client was uh, a daughter in law who, who actually wanted to gift to their uh, uh, parent in law uh, mother and father in law on their 50th anniversary so this was again the anniversary book and it had all the chapters right from how they actually met up till this stage how they have actually you know ensured and have actually taken care of the entire family and helped uh, people reach their true potential wherever they are so these were some of the example one more book which was very interesting was about the birthday book which you can see on to your left hand side of the screen this talks about the story of 28 year girl uh, who was earlier very introvert very shy and used to remain within the shell but somehow unleashed her uh, you know findings or unleashed her real soul as that person came all, all along so that was again the birthday gift which we did for that person uh, the right hand side component which you see is the the various uh, i mean this is the wedding book which talks about the marriage of guptas and uh, sinas also in that component so this book on to the right hand side actually has both the family stories combined together like guptas from one side and sinas from one side and it is actually meeting in between so that is where the uh, that's how the uh, i mean the girl side and the boy side meets so Uh, the idea behind coming with the wedding book was uh, many uh, marriages usually happens uh, but they happen in such uh, hush hush manner that people often do not know too much about the families each of the families the families we are marrying into so uh, it was uh, conceived or we felt that it was a very good idea if uh people are introduced right at the initial stage before their marriage about the families that they are marrying into because it is not the individual which we marry in india in india we marry the entire family so why not introduce the culture the tradition the uh, i mean the various people who are um, important to one particular family to the new person who was going to join that family so that's was the idea about the wedding book uh, yeah and this is some of the glimpses of that book which talks about the so it has all different components of migration map uh, the uh, family tree the traditional uh, stuff the recipes which were celebrated in each of the family the uh, the songs the uh, traditional festivities that are celebrated in the families so this was a treasure house for them uh, and everything merged in between so on to the left hand side top you are able to see the cover so the book actually combines in between the idea is not to live forever but to create something that will uh, this saying goes very well very well with us and we resonate with this and that's what we have always tried to do uh, like to create a product to create and you know work on the idea and uh, we are definitely not giving on to it uh, easily till the true potential of it is actually realized so that is what we want to focus uh, we wanted to focus upon and that is what we are actually focusing about 
how to create that will last something uh, for the entire lifetime. So yeah, that is all from my side. Uh, any questions if you want to ask? So firstly, your I couldn't resist. That is why I raised the hand that your logo is so beautiful. It's one of the best logos I have seen. Okay, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. And so like how if a person uh, fills the form at your site for, you know, getting this book done. Now, what can you uh, please take us through the journey? Like what are the next steps that how you end up reaching, making the books that we have shared? So right now we have, uh, you know, uh, have done all the products in a uh, individual pitch kind of a format so we have uh, got in touch with the customers who so ever wants to get the books developed uh, we contact them and we uh, first of all listen to their requirements we uh, listen to their stories and then uh, we see the potential and we try to bring out the uh, script in such a manner that it resonates or are linked or or matches their requirement at that time so if some person wants to get a book dedicatedly made for their mother or for their parents then they share their requirements with us and uh, after listening to their stories we come out with a script and uh, that's how we make a pitch to them once they are okay with the pitch then all the data sharing and everything happens which happens in a very confidential manner as of now uh, and are limited uh, to uh, a very uh, restricted uh, team which we have uh, so at any time on one particular project, around six to seven people are working. Some are working on the content, some are working on the illustration, some are working on the data collection, data sorting, some are working on the, you know, coordination, project coordination, everything. So, uh, yeah, it is a dedicated team which uh, works on it. But as of now, uh, we uh, get in touch with the prospective clients uh, once we receive their leads one through our website or second through the personal uh, um, i mean whisper marketing uh, that is how the product has actually uh, managed to get in so many nri clients in the initial uh, stages uh, post covid or during covid i would say we have somewhat slowed down because we want to scale the entire stuff in a very big manner and certain things are uh, there in uh, our mind which we are working on simultaneously but before we do that uh, till now it has been yeah one to one kind of a, a component only i'm not sure okay. whether i have answered your questions but yeah. yeah yeah you have sir so you get into like like this is self publishing yes this is self publishing yeah okay and so when you founded this uh, family script so this uh, was somewhere in 2017-18 uh, that we uh, established the company. But uh, uh, Family Script has been uh, into our mind uh, right from 2015, I would say. So we have been working on it. The idea has taken some shape. Some of the products, the products, uh, the products which we have just included in this, are just one component of it. So there are n number of other products also which we have thought through and but we haven't uh, done it i mean offered it to the people as such we okay. have just prepared the various prototypes right uh, but Sir, right so can now, you share if that's okay your uh, average cost range like of course it might depend on the script as well and how much the work is getting into and the costing but just a range so i mean you know it is very this is the uh, toughest part which we had to answer but again you have yourself answered that question pretty well that it depends on the requirement uh, plus the occasion plus the kind of finishing that uh, is expected out of the product so everything culminates onto it and that decides the pricing but uh, bare minimum the simple copy actually starts from 25000 onwards all right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I have this question that uh, if you go for a publishing of a book, you know, uh, you uh, you print multiple copies and you sell out and then how you get the money. Isn't publishing one particular book with the specific content, I mean, costly to you, to the printing things? 
it is actually uh, uh, costly uh, i mean the cost of making a book is very much there uh, so uh, right now we do not do multiple copies as such uh, maximum what has been asked from us is uh, two to three copies one product so printing uh, you may not be the topmost category uh, of the price cut uh, associated with the book but uh, designing is and uh, because the illustrators uh, the content writers and the graphic designers they uh, it, their man hour involvement is very much and because each book is customized the story is new every time so we have to put in extra labor so that's where the main component of the costing comes in Printing as such, uh, you may print it uh, one copy or 10 copies, that won't uh, be too much. Yeah. Sir, do you provide the soft copy also apart from the hard copy? Yeah, I mean, the entire document, everything is uh, the right of the user. So this actually belongs to them, not to us. Yeah, yeah. So you go for the copyrights thing, right? I mean, no, no, no. We don't go for the copyright. The copyright uh, rest with the user. I mean, the clients. It right. is their data. We we cannot take copyright on their data. It goes like Baba. Yeah. You publish a book overnight, and it becomes you know a mass demand by the next morning. No, no. So it is not like that. We come out with you know. Uh, uh, bookstore kind of a book it is a book which is meant for a family to be celebrated amongst the family it depends on them if they want to sell it to uh, or open up their story to the entire world it entirely depends on them but till now we haven't faced any such client uh, wh whosoever has approached us want to have one collection for their own family which is restricted in uh, views I mean they cannot open up their stories are very sensitive you know they have stories of struggle, they have stories of happiness, they have stories of celebrations, everything. And they are very private moments also in these stories. So they may not feel comfortable to share it with the entire world, but at the same time, they would like to have it, uh, you know, um, collected in their family, passed on through generation to generation so that it becomes an inspirational uh, kind of a powerhouse for them. So that is the idea. We do not want to intend to, you know, sell it overnight and make it the best seller or something like that. And that is definitely not there. So the people involved in your team, as you mentioned, the illustrators, copywriters, content writers, or the publishing house uh, or the printing thing, are do you employ them full time or how does it go depending on the demand? So design team, the entire team is ours. Yes, uh, we have a team uh, which actually works on it. Uh, but yes, uh, their association with the uh, uh, project is from project to project. But at the same time, like I was mentioning that it is not only one single product that we have been working upon. And it is not only one single idea that we have been working upon. Uh, if they are not working on family script for that matter, they are working on some other simultaneous uh, a project also which we are working under Prarabdha. So Prarabdha is the startup company incubated under Unveshan Foundation and Family Script is one such offering. So we are working on one, two more offerings. So all the team members are totally invested and are involved. I think one of the team member of Antika here is the final year student of uh, BRC student, um, uh, architecture program. So she is also there in the meeting. I asked her purposely to join uh, the meeting so yeah so that's how everything works so many a time you have to be very uh, delicate right yes, there will be some black sheep in every family yes ma'am <laughs> so yeah i mean there has been many instances like the book which i was mentioning about which the father wanted to give to his child yes. Uh, that book was very sensitive and almost took us four months to complete that book. So the amount of, you know, labor which actually went into digging out the story was very crucial. And it 
uh, it demanded specific amount of you know patience from our end uh, it is yeah. not overnight that people cannot straight away sit in front of you and can share their and, yeah. stories all of a uh, <laughs> sudden so you need to build up that uh, you know repo with them you need to bring down to that comfort level so that they are okay and they have that trust with you otherwise yeah. it becomes a futile effort and we do not want to every family has a story and we want to script it that was our tagline and it is still but we are still figuring out how we can actually make it uh, every man's you know reality okay. that every person every family has a book and so that they could actually mm -hmm. preserve it so we are working uh, around that cutting uh, the costing and everything how can we actually cut the cost cutting the costing yeah. is not that but how <laughs> could we actually make certain things reach out to the uh, more people so that is what we are working on right now so, sir so it's ocean uh, yeah please sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, i have a question so uh, uh, you know uh, these making illustrations and all that i can understand how how much effort they do they need because i am also into graphic designing and digital marketing and uh, the thing you are doing that is something new uh, right now i i haven't seen any company doing this uh, like the family spec book and all that and i i can understand how much effort it needs you know so how do you market uh, this well uh, how do you do this because uh, that is the main thing. Yeah. <laughs> Marketing is the main thing. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, uh, we had actually got some of the offers to market it a big time. We have a very good uh, uh, one advertisement video also shot by one of the um, couple who got their book uh, done from us. Uh, so that video is pretty much there and we often share it on the WhatsApp or through our YouTube channel or through our website also, you may actually find it. Uh, but other than that, it has been, we have restricted the marketing as such. Uh, reason being, uh, there is no point of opening up or doing the marketing if you're not ready to deliver the quantum of work which may land up to you. And we are very much, my, I mean, uh, uh, we are very much aware of the fact that uh, uh, once we market it big time, there would be no stopping uh, of the orders that we may actually get in. But uh, to cater to all those uh, offers and to uh, um, uh, deliver all the projects that we might get in through the marketing, uh, use time marketing, we have to first uh, have a dedicated bench strength which can actually ensure the delivery of all the products. And uh, again, saying it again many a times that uh, since it is all customized as of now and uh, the uh, listening to the stories and everything requires a very big team to or the bench strength to uh, be on board. And that bench strength cannot come without any money. So money yes, yes, something... definitely that I can understand because you yeah. said now nah, I have before uh, this session I have just gone through your website, uh, the whole website and uh, the efforts you have put in all in all these illustrations designing and it took you know minimum one month to come minimum one month to complete a book. So I can understand because to to personalize any story you have to just indulge into it, keeping all the you know. Uh, sensitivity into it uh, so it i can understand that so that this question uh, came to my mind <laughs> yeah, yeah. so that uh, without that ben strength we cannot actually go in for marketing that is uh, very much uh, we are clear about that so yeah. we are just figuring out a way to uh, we have identified people but again to keep them uh, invested in the into the company and to have them full time on roles uh, will require a huge investment. So we are working on uh, figuring out a way to bring in that investment. So let's see how and when that happens. But but very unique and great concept. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sir, so is it only family scripts or we can do a book about uh, our career or something professional also? See, for us, family is not restricted only to the family members. Family is our sometimes friends becomes family sometimes 
uh, circle, the official circle, the professional circle that we talk about, they become a family. So in future, we would like to uh, expand onto the French script and the office script component too. Right. But uh, as of now, we have just, you know, done the family component. So, yeah, as far as career is concerned, we, uh, I mean, uh, there are uh, retirement gifts are there, which you may or anyone can actually get it developed. Uh, so it's a good, uh, you know, gift at the time of retirement, wherein the entire lifetime effort, which has actually gone uh, into that system or, or, or into making sure that the family uh, takes up the right of shoots. Uh, that is documented through. So, I mean, every effort which goes into should be celebrated. That is the entire idea. Right. Thank you, sir. Sir, could you please share your contact details? Yeah. So, uh, the email ID is info at familyscript.com. Uh, and the number is 9560283939. Sir, could you write it in the chat? Okay, I'll do that. Info at script.com. Okay, anything else? Okay, Rauji, I think uh, I'm good, sir. we can conclude. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you for taking out time. Okay. Uh, Avantika, uh, one of our team members is also here. Hi, Avantika. Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, she is uh, working uh, with us for the past two, two and a half years now. And uh, yeah, she has... Uh, been associated and um, has contributed in a big way. So thank you, Avantika, for... Uh, Hi, uh, just a moment. If possible, yeah. Avantika could share some of her, uh, you know, brief or experience with you guys. Yeah, Avantika, would you like to do, do that? She doesn't yes. mind if I'm okay with you. Yes, yes, sure. So good evening, everybody. I have been associated with uh, Pradabdha and specifically the family script. Uh, since the past um, two, two, two and a half years. And I started off as a content writer. And uh, so in the beginning, it was uh, uh, the first project that I took up. It was uh, it was like the interaction with the client and then uh, moving on to actually scripting their whole story. It was a very personally very fun process for me because I have been into writing for a pretty long time now. And um, that's how we got into that project. And uh, throughout the whole like through the whole process it took us about three months to finish it off two two and a half months to finish it off and um, in that whole project that I actually understood the intricacies the details of uh, how much uh, the details of what goes into designing a whole book so that is how we actually got out the whole product and then ever since then I my role in the company it, it just kept expanding and then I also started taking other aspects of the company. So that's that. Yeah, thank you so much, Avantika. Uh, okay, Rahulji, thank you so much. Uh, one more thing I would like to say. Yes. Uh, yes. Your website is very beautiful, very simple and very elegant. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, thank you all for joining. I will be ending this now.